Were there dragons bigger than Valerian and Vega back in the days of the Valerian Freehold? And also were there dragons that still survived in the Doom of Valyria but didn't come out to the outside world? So let's dig deep into this and discuss these topics in detail. So firstly, let's start with discussing the size of Valerion and then we can jump into the main content. Valerion was the largest of all the Targaryen dragons since Aegon's conquest. His wingspan was so large that his shadow could engulf entire towns when he passed overhead. His jaws were large enough to swallow an auroch whole or even a mammoth. Judging by the size of the skull at the Red Keep and him being a bit larger than Vega, who we have assessed to be around 240 to 250 feet long, we can say that Beleriand was around 300 feet or 90 meters long with a wingspan of 500 to 600 feet or 150 to 180 meters across. So Beleriand was the only family dragon still alive at the time of the conquest who was born before the doom and his birth in a more magical place and time may have contributed to his size. Even he had limitations, having spent the majority of his life in a post-doom environment with no magical intervention. If Valerians use fire magic to manipulate dragon size and growth rate, then the pre-doom era would have produced larger dragons than the post-doom era, where there was no magic, ambient or ritual based to increase the dragon size. And of course, before the doom, Valyria hosted a large number of dragons, including famously in the Second Spice War when some 300 dragons came into battle. So it is highly likely that there were dragons the same size and even bigger than Beleriand during that time. While the Black Dread was not fully grown when the Targaryens lived in Valyria, he did grow to his maximum size later on in life in Westeros. We also know that the Targaryens were only of middle status there just one of 40 dragon lord families. So assuming that the number and size of the family's dragons had any bearing on their standing, it stands to reason that other families in Valeria maybe had larger dragons than Beleriand at his peak or quite a few Beleriand sized dragons. So it stands to reason again that if the Targaryens had or used to have dragons of huge size, then their status would be of high lords. But since they were only middle families, then even dragons of the size of Beleriand would be average. There is also another factor to consider here. Beleriand spent his later years in King's Landing's Dragon Pit. So if the Dragon Pit truly limited dragon growth in comparison to what it would have been if they were allowed to live more freely, then Beleriand's growth rate in later life would have been stunted whereas a comparable dragon living in Valeria would not have been so restricted and would have grown bigger and bigger with the ambient magic that is present in the place. Even the cannibal that was in Dragonstone lived longer than Beleriand and would maybe be as big or bigger. But since there were never any mentions about his size, this is still just a theory. Of all the Targaryen dragons that we know, Beleriand was the only one who was hatched before the Targaryens left Valyria and he lived to be around 200 years old. The other two dragons from the conquest Vagar and Meraxes were not nearly as big as Beleriand at that time, but by the time of the Dance of the Dragons, Vega was approaching the size of the Black Dread. But the strange thing is that the dragons that were born in Westeros always became smaller in size every successive generation until blood magic was performed again to give birth to Danny's dragons, Drogon, Rhaegal and Viserion, which would have grown to quite an astounding size given their fast growth rate but were killed at a young age but Drogon is still alive and might still be growing, growing to be as big as the Black Dread, given his fast growth rate. So the point is this, imagine the Valyrian dragons at the peak of their magic. Since Valyrian was from Valyria, he became the largest known dragon. Vega, which was born around 52 BC in Dragonstone, still had a lot of magic in her genes and so she grew to almost the same size as Beleriand. Then the second generation dragons like Vermithor, Dreamfire and Silverwing were smaller than Vega. Then we have the third generation which were Caraxes and Meles and they were of middle size. The fourth generation dragons like Cyrax were even smaller. This went on and on till the last of the Targaryen dragons grew to be the size of a small dog. Yet there is another story of Beleriand flying off to Valyria with Arya Targaryen, one of his riders. What was told is that the doom killed off all the Valyrian dragons other than the Targaryens. 
but there is a possibility that there are other dragons who survived without anyone knowing, some of which might have been elsewhere then returned to Valeria on instinct just as Balerion apparently did and lived there without anyone on the outside world knowing. Since Balerion was the biggest known dragon at that time and something wounded him to the point of him not returning to Valeria again, then there might be something in Valeria that was bigger and badder than a Black Dread. Maybe a larger, meaner Valyrian dragon had survived the doom and gone back to Valyria and had met and fought Valyrian there. But that doesn't explain what happened to Aria which kinda looked like radiation burns. The doom was some sort of magical experiment that went horribly wrong and in that case the Valyrians were probably in the middle of something and whatever they were doing were uh, causing the doom to hit it. And those monstrous things that were the result might have caused the doom anyway. The conclusion is this that there must have been dragons bigger than Valerian in the past owned by more powerful Valerian dragon lords. But as to whether there were still dragons in Valeria, that is highly doubtful in the least. So that's what we have on this topic. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button for support and subscribe. But most of all, smash that bell icon for regular updates on new videos right here on this channel. Till the next one, take care fam.